What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how I could build terrains and Unreal Engine using Dim Earth from Cinema 4D. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see right now, I'm in Cinema 4D version R23. And if I come up to Dim Earth, and this is actually a plugin that you have to purchase for Cinema 4D, which I do have an affiliate code. So if you want to look down in the description below and help support your boy, I greatly appreciate it. But back to the tutorial, if I click on Dim Earth here, then if I come down here to Object, it's going to make a terrain here and i usually like going about it this way just to make sure that everything is activated and so sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to connect i just want to make sure everything is good to go and so it looks like it is so if i come up to dim earth and come down to geocoder tool you can actually just type in where you want to look at so let's say if i want to do pittsburgh which is my home city hit enter and now it says pittsburgh pennsylvania which is where i'm from or Pittsburgh, Atlanta, Georgia. So it gives you a couple of options here. And so I'm gonna click this one. It says go to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can see it loading. And then when it's done, it actually brings us to some map data within Pittsburgh, which is really cool. So if I come down here to objects, and then I can actually make this a little bit larger. So I don't wanna to go too crazy. Let's say maybe like 3000 for width, 3000 for height. There we go. So we have some, I think these are the three rivers where they connect right here. And we have some pretty cool terrain in here that we can actually take over to Unreal Engine. But first, I'd like to just kind of see the area that I'm working with. And so I can actually pull in map data from like Google Maps or Bing Maps or, or even some open source websites out there. So let me show you how we do that. So if I come over here to Map Loader, and then it does have a disclaimer because if you render using any of these maps, you don't have any type of copyright licenses to, it's to your own discretion. And so they do allow you to download these maps. But again, if you're going to use this for commercial work, I would make sure to look at the licensing and just see how that works out for you. And so I'm going to actually come down here and maybe just do Stallman Terrain. Okay, I do believe this one's open source, but I just kind of want to see what my terrain is going to look like and see if I want to change out the height data and stuff. And so right here is our levels. And if you look down here in the bottom right, we have a tile count. And so the higher the tile count, the higher the resolution of your image. So if I come over here and make it level 16, you can see it added the tile count and also added more resolution to our image. So I'm not gonna go too high, maybe around 15, which it gives us a pretty good resolution here. And so from here, I'm actually gonna click on download texture layer. And it's gonna say that you're downloading 1,722 tiles. You sure you wanna do this? Depends on your internet speed and your connections, how long it could take. But with the latest version of Dim Earth, it's been moving pretty fast. So I'm just gonna click yes. And then if you check down her lower left-hand corner, you'll see it says downloading. And it actually has a ticker box that shows you how many tiles are downloaded at this moment. So I'm just gonna give us a second to tally up and wait for the final results. All right, cool. So it looks like our terrain is finished building out with the texture and everything. And if you notice, we do have some black patches here. That just means that there's no satellite data for those areas. But if you go into Photoshop, you can always go in and manipulate those yourself. But that's for another tutorial. For this one, I kind of just wanted to see how the terrain was going to look. So we do have our rivers here and we do have our peaks and our valleys. If I come over here to objects in the lower right hand corner, and I come down here to remapping and just scroll down. We can actually amplify the height if you want to, just to kind of exaggerate it a little bit. And I think this looks pretty cool. So let's say that I'm happy with this terrain. I want to bring this over to Unreal Engine so we could use it, you know, as a level or whatever we want to use it for, we could use it in Unreal Engine. And so to do that, we can actually export out a grayscale image which we can import into Unreal Engine. So if I come over to Map Loader, and then right here where it says layer, instead of doing our terrain, we have these options down here now where we can export a height map for a TIFF, an EXR, or a PNG. So I'm just gonna do 16-bit PNG because that comes in easily in Unreal Engine. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna leave my level at 15 just so we get a high-res image. And then I'm gonna click download texture. Now it's gonna pop up with a folder where you wanna save it at. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop I'm not going to change out the naming convention. I'm just going to leave it as is. And then we're going to click on save. 
And if you notice, we don't have any type of loading bar or anything here. So what I do is I know that this terrain took a couple of minutes to load in the original texture. And so I'm just gonna give it a couple of minutes to load in this one. And then I'm gonna check my desktop. And once it's there, I'm gonna bring it into Unreal Engine. And while we're waiting for that to come in, I can actually come over to Unreal Engine. I just launched version 4.26.1. And I'm actually just going to use one of these gaming templates. And so I'm going to do third person just so I can run around my scene here. So I'm going to click on next. And then I'm just going to pretty much leave these at default. So for ray tracing, maybe enable it. I'm going to click create project. I'm going to let this just load up itself while I'm waiting for my terrain to build out from cinema. And here we are. We're inside of Unreal Engine. So I'm actually going to right click down here in the content browser. I'm just going to make a new level just so I have a blank level here. Save selected. And there we go. So now I have a new level in here. I'm actually just going to come over to lights, just bring in a directional light, come down here to location. I'm just going to reset the default value here. I'm actually going to make this movable. And then click this miss on here about the plugins. And my scene is pretty much set to go. And before I do anything else, like I'm not going to actually bring the texture from Cinema into Unreal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a plugin called Brushify. It's pretty cheap. I think it's only about 10 bucks, but it's an easy way that we could quickly go about, you know, texturing our terrain and having some really good results. So if I come back over to the Epic Game Store and if I come down to library, I actually have it here in my vault. So if you're not familiar with Brushify, I would just use this one right here, the Brushify Environment Saders. Like I'm not, I don't have any type of affiliate links or anything for this, but this is something that I use a lot. And so I believe this one is only a few bucks. It's pretty good. It has a good variety pack of different, you know, brushes and things of that nature in here. So I'm actually going to add it to my project. So if I scroll down to my project here, I'm just going to add it to project. And while that's moving over, I'm going to check my desktop to see if I have my height map in which it looks like I do. And so I have my height map right here but it's gonna be extremely large. Like you can see the dimensions are 10,752 by 10,496. And so I'm just gonna bring this into Photoshop where I can actually make this 4K instead because this is extremely large. And if I bring this into Unreal Engine, it might give it a couple of issues there. And so I'm just gonna bring it into Photoshop just so I could downsize it a little bit and maybe even bring it into just a square instead of having like an offset resolution. I usually like to do like 4096 by 4096. So we're just gonna manipulate that here in Photoshop. So here we are with our image here in Photoshop. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a new layer here. So I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna come over here, make it pixels, and I'm just gonna make it 4096 by 4096. There we go. So we have a square and resolution. I'm going to make it 72. And then I'm just going to take this image and pretty much just click and drag it into my new square here. And then I'm going to hit control T on my keyboard just to bring up the translation tools. And then if I hit control zero on the keyboard, it zooms it out like this. Then I can hold down the alt key, just click and drag the corner and just bring it down just until I'm about touching it. So you see, we have a little bit of leeway on the sides just because the resolution was offset. So now basically I just made a 4K texture that's perfectly square in here that could get rid of this background layer. And actually if I hit Control L, I'm just gonna exaggerate this a little bit more. So I'm just gonna do some levels on here just to make the blacks a little bit more black and make the whites a little bit hotter on here just to give us a little bit more depth in our range because if it's gray, it's gonna make it more flat. And so since it has some more dynamic range in here, we should be in a good position. So I'm gonna hit Control S. I'm just gonna save this out as a PNG. So I'm gonna go back to my desktop, come down here, make it a PNG. And then I'm just gonna name this tutorial underscore height. Click on save. I'm just gonna click OK here and let this save out down here and cool. So it looks like we're saved out here. So I can actually just go and close up Photoshop. I'm gonna click no, it wants me to save changes as a PSD, but I'm just gonna click no, I already have my PNG file here. So if I come here, now I have my tutorial height map that I just made from Dim Earth and Photoshop. So if I come back over here to Unreal Engine, I'm gonna come over here to modes and then I'm gonna come down to landscape. I'm gonna drag this over a little bit 
So right here where it says new landscape, I'm gonna click on import file and I'm gonna actually pick that file from my desktop. So it was this one right here, tutorial height, click on this, click open, and then I'm just gonna click fit data, which it already should import everything. But right here where it says materials, now this is where Brushify is gonna come in. So if I come down here to my content browser and right here, I should have a folder right here, it says Brushify. So if I double click on this, and then if I come over to materials, let me drag this up so it's a little bit easier to see. Actually, I could make these thumbnails a little bit larger. So here we go. So I went to content, Brushify, materials, and now I wanna click on landscape. And then I'm just gonna use this one right here. It's completely black. The one that says MI underscore landscape. Click and drag this over here. And that should be all we have to do. So now I'm just gonna click import. And now you see we have our terrain in here, but it's completely black as you can see. Like we're not seeing anything because we have to add some texture to it. So if I come right here and click on paint, this is where we add our brushify, all of our different textures and everything. So let's say I wanna just do grass dry. I'm gonna click on none. Just click on this top layer right here and it should just automatically populate it for us. And there you go. We can see that we have our scene populated here. I'm actually gonna click on modes, click select. And then I'm just gonna zoom around a little bit. Actually, I can move my light. So this, yeah, I think I might've added too much on my terrain there. I probably could have flattened it out a little bit, but let's zoom in to an area down here. Let's say this is like a really tight valley. So this is when I did the manipulation inside of Photoshop, I went a little bit too overboard. That's why I gave us like this big canyon here, but it's cool. So you can see that we're getting some pretty cool texturing and everything in here. And this is where your lighting and everything's gonna come into place. So like I would come down to my intensity, make it about 3.16 here. Then I would just even move around my lights a little bit. It's a little bit hot, but a good thing that we could do too is come over to visual effects and just add some exponential height fog that will help out a little bit but you guys kind of get the picture like i'm not going to go into a whole lighting tutorial here i just want to show you guys how we could bring in our terrain from dem earth into unreal engine and pretty much pick anywhere that we want inside of the world so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out i just showed you how we could take actual geological locations using dem earth export those out of cinema 4d bring them into unreal and make a playable level out of them so if this did help you out make sure you leave me a comment down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe leave me a big thumbs up and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'll see you soon take care what up, what up? Wimbush here.